a large collection of small objects, and they appear to be organically conceived. Uh, they seem to float in front of the wall, and they're systematically, somewhat so, arranged in rows and columns. Uh, I guess broken down like that, it doesn't sound very compelling. Uh, but still, I'm drawn to this piece. Uh, I've never read anything about William Morris or his work, which, given my background as an art historian, is, is kind of odd. But I've preferred to keep my experience of it more private, being in our gra gravel driveway. And I was always thinking I might find some buried treasure that is something of value from the past. But when I didn't find anything, I'd bury pieces myself, pieces of junk jewelry or interesting trinkets that might be found by somebody else later on. I think it's the act of finding itself and the connection to the past, that kind of searching in the past for meaning that is so compelling to me. And for me, that's what the artifact panel is about. Everything in life is subject to change, but there's something constant about this piece that reaffirms the connectedness of things, even of disparate things. I think it's because the individual objects are small and intricate, and because of this, they encourage contemplation. Almost, almost you could imagine it as a prayer. But the objects together are most evocative because they speak to each other. As interesting as they are individually, each one changes in context with the others around it. And in this sense, their relationship raises endless questions about individuals and community.